When I was out walking Toby today, I saw two deer. And it got me thinking, you know what else is two deer? The Tacticons, the smallest size class in the new Earthspark line. I couldn't resist them though, being a fan of the show and, and look at how little they are. And yeah, I know I should be furious about how little they are, but come on. We have three Tacticons in the first wave, Bumblebee, Optimus Prime and Megatron. The packaging's interesting, Optimus and Megatron have a red and purple ghost logo respectively, and Bumblebee has a red Autobot symbol, it's just a nice attention to detail, alright? In the box they come kinda loose, wrapped in tissue, like they'd been wadded up after being sneezed out by Unicron. And you know if I'm lingering too much on the boxes, things to say about the actual toys are very thin on the ground. Bumblebee's up first to be honest, they look pretty much nothing like the Earthspark vehicle mode here, you know it's more like a family SUV than a cool sleek sports car. Still, due to the nature of the transformation and the toy, it's it's forgivable, but maybe Elita 1 would have been a better fit for this size class. I know Bumblebee is the guy that sells, I know, shut up. Okay, so the gimmick here, not necessarily designed to accommodate my chubby digits, goes like this. Plonk your finger in the roof here and use your thumb and you can go woof. And there we have it, it's, uh, it's Earthspark Bumblebee. Or, or is it? You know, to be honest, even this design doesn't really look much like the show version. Did, did they just put the name Bumblebee into an AI and got this design or something? I guess that's unfair to expect miracles at this small size class. Now you're probably asking, you're going, Oh, Gavin, does it work when you put your finger in the other way? And yes, it does. Probably more camera friendly this way. There's no articulation or play features other than flipping them back and forward between the modes, but that is satisfying to do. And having a wee transformer on your finger, it's a novelty, I suppose. Take your tea stirrer out and inside the roof becomes a little sculpted set of legs so you can stand up, and that's something. Optimus Prime's up next, and even he has to suffer the indignity of looking a little bit boxier than usual. But the front end is spot on, and transformation's the same. Inside we've got something that looks much closer to the show design with weird black arms for some reason. They do at least do him justice with the head sculpt, with the longer faceplate and the kindest eyes since the monster in Super 8. Now you'll be asking, oh Gavin, does Optimus work the other way around too? And yes he does, very versatile, plus he stands up just like Bumblebee. The final and without any doubt the best Tacticon, the one that comes dangerously close to justifying the price, is Megatron. Look at this chubby wee aircraft mode, I just adore the super deformed take on the alt mode, plus it's got this extra feature that the others lack, putting your finger in will actually spin the VTOL engines upwards. Isn't that cool? It may be a happy accident, but I love it. Transformation's the same, very quick, and the sculpt is great. Still weird black arms, but the face is fantastic. In, in fact, hold on, Optimus and Megatron look great here, why does Bumblebee look so naff? You know what, I deduct my forgiving review of that toy entirely. But once again, I can hear you asking, you're going, Ah, Gavin! Does it work the other way around? And no, no, not this time. Nah, only kidding, it does, it does work this way. But you would think this version would have the ability to stand up on their own like the others do, wouldn't you? Well he does. Sorry if I set that sentence up in a way that misled you. As standing together, they do make you question your life choices a little bit. Are they great toys? Absolutely not. And will they entertain young kids? Maybe on that one, but not for long, certainly. But ultimately, are they good tat? 100% yes. Goodbye.